Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on collecting like terms without powers. Now in the previous video we saw how we could simplify algebraic expressions where we only had one variable involved. Here we've got a mixture of different variables and by variables I just mean letters. So we've got x and we've got y here and this second one we've got a p term, we've got a q term and we've even got a term which doesn't have a letter in it. Uh, this one here which is known as a constant. Now when we have a mixture of different variables, we collect together the terms involving the same variable. So this term here involves just x, and this term here is minus x, and we can also underline these other ones as well. We've got the plus 2y and the plus 4y here. So let's collect together the terms just involving the x's first. We call these like terms because they involve the same variable and they can be collected together, so simplified into one term. So if we've got three lots of x and we subtract one lot of x, so there's no number in the front, we could think of this as just one lot of it. So three lots of x minus one lot of x, that would give us two lots of x, which we'd write as 2x. Remember, when you write things next to each other in algebra, it means you're multiplying them together. Then let's look at the y terms. We've got two lots of y and we're adding four lots of y. That's six lots of y, so we're adding six lots of y. So the final answer is 2x plus 6y, and we can't simplify that any further. What about this one here? Well, let's underline each term. And remember, I underline each with the symbol, the plus or the minus, included on front of it. It's got minus q plus p. Now let's concentrate on the p terms first. We've got a 5p here, and we've got 1p here. We just put that one on the front. So five lots of p plus a lot of p is six lots of p. What about the q terms? Well, we've only got this single q term here, so we just put the minus q here. And similarly, this is known as the constant term because it doesn't involve any variables at all. And there's only one constant term here, so that's just going to stay on its own. If we had something else on the end, so let's just say we had plus 3 on the end, then we have another constant term, and then we can collect these together. So we'd have the 1 plus the 3, and that would just be 4 on the end instead of 1.